Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Middleware AI Academy. Today we are going to learn how to download VMware Workstation Pro and Red Hat Linux step by step. So let's begin. First you have to open your browser and come to the search button. You have to click here VMware Workstation Pro and then just go for wait yes here for the search button. Here you have to go to the first link. It will redirect you to the home page of VMware website and then download now. Here it will redirect you again to the next page. It will take you some time to redirect. Let's just wait because patience is the best key to the success. Here, here you have to write down your username but if you don't have your credentials or login credentials here, you have to go to this right side icon where it is login. We have to go here, the login, yes, and you can register here by clicking on the register. It will redirect you to the registration page. Here you have to write down your email ID. Like I'm going to type my email ID, yes, where, dot com. And then after that, you have to come. I'm just going to make it quickly. Yes, I have done it. So here you have to come on the CAPTCHA. Carefully write the CAPTCHA and after then you have to press next. It will again redirect to the next page. Here, going heartbeats. Here you will get an OTP on your email ID, which I have already opened. I have refreshed it and now we have come to the mail. I have got my OTP. I have copied down and pasted down and press the button verify and continue. Here you have got your registration form. You have to fill these details. First your first name, last name, very basic details which we are supposed to fill. You can choose whatever the name you want because you are the owner. Here you have to choose the country name. Now next is job title. Here you will find many job titles. I'm going to go for architect because I am going to help you to make your future bright. Here I have chosen architect. Now I'm going to type my password which you will not be able to see. And I also don't want to see your password as well. Great. After writing your password, you have to confirm your password. After the confirmation password, you have to check this box and create account. And here we are creating our account on the Broadcam website. After registration successfully, you have to scroll down. You don't need to unlock additional services. Just you have to write key. I'll do it later. Now it will again redirect you to their home page. Here you have to close all these buttons. Yes. And now you have to search for again VMware Workstation. And just search for it. It will redirect you to the new page. And here you have come to the first link. Just click on the first link. And come scroll down and here you link. Again, we will redirect into the new page. Wait, now you have to, which we have done the registration, you have to write down your email ID and press the next button. Type your password, sign in, and it will take you to the dashboard page. You have to wait a little. Here you will not find the link we are looking for, so don't worry. You can type again VMware Workstation and Pro and then again press the button search. After searching when the page will appear you just have to click on the first link. However it is not showing so don't lose your heart. We are going to do it again. It's not a big deal. Sometimes it does happen. You have to down again type it VMware Workstation and again go for the search here we go and finally yes we have got the first link just click on the first link and here scroll down come here and download yes now we are moving to the next page it's going on going on going on yes 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 now we have two links just press the first link because it is for windows and the next one is for linux here I have selected the first option 
and it's starting downloading just wait it will take some time yeah 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 now you have to click you have to click the terms and conditions and then check the box and come scroll down and here press the click yes and it has started downloading yes yes it's working but before downloading you have to compliance with the download conditions you have to fill some address you just can fill the name of the city in address one as well the city name state province either you can write down the name of the city or you can fill the pin code as well it doesn't matter in the zip pin code also you have to write down the you have to type your postal pin code here again i will type my pin code you just have to fill it okay after this you have to check the box i agree and submit the button press the button submit actually now it will redirect you to the new page waiting 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 yes and we have to again select the download button for window workstation pro for windows because we have filled the previous done and it is downloading here as you all can see now in the next tab again we are going to go for red hat linux download and here first link as well very first link click on it again you have to register on it if you haven't registered yet login button you don't you need to create another account you just can simply log in with your google account it is too simple now i have selected my google account yeah go go continue yes now it's moving 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 loading and here we have account information on our page you just have to choose a password for creating a password you must fulfill must fulfill all these condition so let's see if i can fulfill this condition it should be 14 characters and upper case lower case usually do find all these conditions on every website to create a password now i have created my password and you have to fill again some personal information as we usually do to create or register ourselves on any website here i'm typing it next job role again you can go for any job role which you prefer from the scroll down but i'm going to go for i'm going to go for architect i have selected yes check the box again do not check the box if you don't need the product details and create my account press create my account and it's loading again now we are on the main page again after this we are going to log in let's see what's inside i'm just seeing what is inside yes wait and we are going to red hat third link yes yeah we have this third link and we are going to do download iso after this it's again loading here again you have some details filled but you have to give your phone number and some contact information because it is basically for some company so i'm going to give my phone number here you can give any company name your dream company name which you want to create as your startup so you can give those names i'm going to i'm going to fill all this quickly anyways you must be wondering why did i prefer this method over azure virtual machine for lab practice i will explain it at the end of the video for that you have to stick with my video i will explain all the things till then i am going to fill all these details Uh, these are very simple things which i definitely know you all can fill yourself so here we are just putting writing down the name of the city i'm not going to yes i have done with the name of the city state province for that you have to fill all the address whole address column or else you will not be able to select it so i'm trying yes now let's see let's see I'm just going to improve the company name so that it's going to help me. I'm going to change the address. I'm going to fill all the address details here. Yes, pin code is must. You have to fill. Now you have got your option to choose state. You have to choose your state here. 
check the box if you want to email opt in or else you can just directly press the button submit i have pressed the button submit now thank you for downloading it has been downloaded so now move to now let me answer to the question which i started at the beginning why didn't i use azure vm for lab practice because azure does provide free credits for new users but they last for only 30 days after that everything becomes chargeable and yes guys thank you for sticking to till the end of my video if you like this video or find the video useful don't forget to press the like button share and subscribe thank you